Hi everyone. Now that we've put all of our pieces together, we need to figure out how to cut the top and the bottom apart for the jewelry box. So we're going to go and open up from our H drive. And I'm going to open up the assembly that was called box before cut. So I have my front, my sides, my top and my bottom here. We're going to come into the 3D model tab and we're going to create a new plane on here. So if I drop down the arrow below it, we're going to do an offset from plane. And we're going to go offset from the very top of our part. Notice the arrow points up. I want my plane to go down. So I'm going to have to put in a negative number. I'm going to type a negative 1.5. And this is where we're going to cut on the bandsaw to separate the top from the bottom. Green check mark. Next, in the 3D model tab, we are going to start a 2D sketch on this brand new plane. I like to spin the view. I need to draw a rectangle that is bigger than my part here. So I'm going to grab a two point rectangle. And all I need to do is make sure it is above and outside for my first click and below and outside for my second click. I just need a big rectangle on here. And we are going to go to the green finish sketch. Go ahead and save this. And now we're going to do something special. We're going to save this a couple extra times. We're going to go to file save as, and this is going to be jewelry box top after cut. And I'm going to save it in my H drive. And I'm going to do a file save as and it's going to be jewelry box bottom after cut. So if I were to open up and look around in my H drive, I'm going to see the box before cut, the jewelry box bottom after cut, and the jewelry box top after cut. They're all the same right now but we're going to be editing these two to make them a little different. So doesn't matter which one I start with. I'm going to open up the bottom after cut. I can see it's jewelry box bottom right here. We are going to go into the 3D model tab and we're going to do an extrude. It immediately grabs the rectangle and it knows that I'm in between a part so it is auto attempting to cut, which is something unique. We're going to change the direction. We're going to go the opposite way because we want to leave the bottom. And we're going to tell it to go through all so it cuts all the way up. I'm going to hit OK. I now have the top cut off. I'm left with just the bottom. And I don't want to delete this work plane, but I just want to hide it. So in my list of all the things we've done, I'm going to find the work plane over here. Right click on it and turn the visibility off. So now I have my part fully assembled. I've taken off the top. I'm going to go to my home view and I'm going to save this. Next up, I'm going to open up the jewelry box top after cut. We're going to do the same idea. We're going to go to the 3D model tab. We're going to extrude. I do want to extrude down and I want to tell it to go through all so it removes all of the bottom and I can click OK. So you notice I'm left with just the top. And just like we did before, we're going to turn the visibility off for the work plane. 
I don't want to delete it. I just don't want to see it right now. Go to my home view. And we are going to save this. I now have a jewelry box bottom and a jewelry box top. Nice job.